Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah wa kafa, wa salatu wa salamu ala ibadihi alladhi nastafa, khususan ala abdalihim makhatam in nabiyyin muhammadin in ameen, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in, wa man istanna bi sunnatihi ila yawmiddin. Qala Allahu azza wa jal fi kitabihi al-kareem, a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim, bismillahi al-rahman al-rahim, ala bi dhikri allahi tatma innu al-qulub. وعن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول الله تعالى إن عند ظن عبدي بي وأنا معه إذا ذكرني فإن ذكرني في نفسه ذكرته في نفسي وإن ذكرني في ملأ ذكرته في ملأ خير منهم وإن وإن تقرب إلي وإن تقرب إلي شبرا تقربت إليه ذراعا وإن تقرب إليه إلي ذراعا تقربت إليه باعا وإن أتاني يمشي أتيته هرولة أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي واللهم ثبتنا عند الموت بلا إله إلا الله واللهم اجعلنا من الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر آمين يا رب العالمين ثم ما بعد إن أردين one of the most important aspects is remembrance. You know, Allah has made us different from creatures in many different ways. And one of the ways He made us different is He gave us, you know, I'm in, medi I'm in medicine, so I always give medical examples. He gave us something called a prefrontal cortex. And that prefrontal cortex makes us very different from that. This small sliver of brain that Allah gave us makes us different from all the other creatures that He has made. Even though at our core, we are, uh, we are a beast, just like animals in the world. But he gave us this one thing that makes us very different. That made us, that's part of what makes us Ashraf al-Makhluqat. And that is this piece of brain that enables us to think. That enables us to remember. And that remembrance is what gets us through our daily life. That is, remembrance is what makes us get, be, get to be closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and closer to his deen. And Allah says, Ala bi dhikrillahi tatma'innu al-qulub No doubt, in the remembrance of Allah, there is calmness of the hearts. There is ease, there is contentment. No matter the storms that are going on around you, if you have this dhikr of Allah, you are in the safe bubble. You are in the safe space, where no matter what is happening inside you, no matter what is happening around you, inside there is a sense of calm. There is a sense of peace. And the hadith I quoted from Rasulullah that was narrated by Abu Hurairah where he says, he is quoting Allah, so this is a hadith Qudsi, where he says, Allah is saying that the way my slave thinks of me, that is how I will present myself to him. So if he thinks of me as vengeful, as out to get you, you know, a lot of, unfortunately, the a lot of khutbas we hear nowadays are about fire and brimstone. If you do this, Allah is going to get angry at you. If you don't do this, Allah is going to punish you. So if we, we develop this idea that Allah is harsh, Allah is out to get me, Allah doesn't really care for me, Allah is vengeful, then that's how I will present to Him. I will be vengeful towards Him. But if He recognizes that I love Him, that I care for Him, that the, the rules I have made for Him are for, his own, for humanity's own benefit, and he will see that and he will come towards me knowing that I love him and I will show him love. وَأَنَا مَعَهُ إِذَا ذَكَرَنِي And I am with him when he remembers me. You know, we hear the ayah often, وَأَنَا أَقْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ حَبْلِ Allah says, أَنَا أَقْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ حَبْلِ الْوَرِيدِ I am closer to the human being than his own حَبْلِ الْوَرِيدِ And we translate حَبْلِ الْوَرِيدِ as the jugular vein. But the, Ar the Arabs actually use the phrase حَبْلِ الْوَرِيدِ to describe the, pa the part of a human being that makes him himself. What do I mean by this? There are certain parts of my personality that make me me. That if, they, if, they, if they weren't a part of me, I would be you know, in a vegetative state. I would, you know, I, would be in a, I would be in a situation worse than death. Allah, so those parts of me are crucial in making me who I am. Allah says, we are closer to hi a human being than the parts that make him himself. That is how close Allah is to you and me. And he says that if he remembers me in, in, by himself, I remember him myself. 
If he remembers me in a gathering, I remember him in a gathering of angels that is even more noble, that is even purer than his gathering. And I, and I show off these people who the angels made a criticism, who uh, he's going to spill blood, he's going to cause corruption. He, why, why are you putting this Khalifa on this earth? He's going to, you know, he's going to be a criminal. And you know, much of our history, human history, shows that they were sort of right. We were, there were a lot of people like Fir'aun in our history. And yet Allah, when we remember Him, He goes out of His way to mention us to His angels, like, look, you thought these people were going to cause corruption, look, they're remembering me. We get mentioned in the, in the company of the angels. And if, we, if He continues, that if He comes towards me in a, a hand's length, I come towards Him a forearm's length. And if he comes towards me a forearm's length, I come him, to him a whole arm's length. And if he comes to me walking, I, come, I go to him running. How easy Allah has made this deen for us to just come, make an effort to come towards him, and Allah was, will give us the results. And what are the different aspects of dhikr? Allah says, فَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرْكُمْ وَاشْكُرُونِي وَلَا تَكْفُرُونَ Make mention of me, I will make mention of you. And have shukr. And don't have kufr. You know this. Uh, some of the mufassirun have actually described that this washkuruni wala takfurun is actually atuf bayan of fathkuruni adhkurkum. What does that mean? That wow, washkuruni is actually an ie. What does ie mean? Fathkuruni adhkurkum. Remember me, and I'll remember you. That is to say, what I mean by fathkuruni is washkuruni. Have thanks. Give shukr. Show appreciation. وَلَا تَكْفُرُونَ and don't, and don't do kufr. Kufr has two meanings. Don't disbelieve and don't be ungrateful. So the way we do dhikr is by being grateful. The way we do dhikr is by not being ungrateful, by not turning away from Allah. So, and what, 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 what reasons are there to not be grateful for Allah? Allah constantly throughout His Qur'an mentions reasons for us to be grateful. وَذْكُرُوهُ كَمَا هَدَاكُمْ In one place Allah says, they should give, th give, they should give thanks to Allah كَمَا هَدَاكُمْ Because He guided you. And وَإِن كُنْتُمْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ لَمِنَ الضَّالِينَ Before this you had no idea what was happening. Before this you were completely lost. And elsewhere He says, وَعَتَصِّمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ إِذْ كُنْتُمْ أَعْدَاءً Give thanks to Allah before this, you were a'da'an, you were enemies to each other. You were in your different tribes, and for these people their tribe was everything. Your tribe would ha spark a little fight with someone, it would become a centuries long clan war. A'da'an fa'allafa bayna qulubikum, he softened your hearts towards each other. He made you come together, to the point where now you can stand in a place like Hudaybiyah. And there are people from all different tribes, all different backgrounds, and they're all standing with the Prophet ﷺ, united under La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. This is one of the things that you should remember, and this is one of the things that you should be grateful to. وَذْكُرُوهُ كَمَا هَدَاكُمْ Give thanks, remember, give thanks. And one of the biggest things, of course, we should give thanks for, one of the biggest ni'am that we have been given, is this Qur'an. This Qur'an without which we would not have anything. This Qur'an that Allah gave, Allah says, إِذْ جَاءَتْ يَا أَيُّهُ النَّاسِ قَدْ جَاءَتْكُمْ مَوْعِذَةٌ مِّنْ رَبِّكُمْ It came to you. This came especially for you. This is a gift that is especially for you. Nowhere, and it's, and it's such a gift that Allah says, because of this gift, you should have farah, you should have thanks, you should have happiness. Nowhere else in the Qur'an does Allah tell human beings on this earth to have farah, to have happiness, except when it comes to the Qur'an. Except when it comes to speaking of the Qur'an, we should have farah, otherwise Allah doesn't even talk about happiness. So this is one of the other great ni'mah of Allah. So may Allah give us the ability to give thanks for His ni'mah, to, ha to have the opportunity to do dhikr, and to earn the rewards of dhikr. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen, barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim, wa nafa'ni wa iyaakum bil ayati wa dhikr al-Hakim. Aqoolu qawli hadha, fa astaghfirullah li wa lakum, wa lisa'idil muslimina fa astaghfiruh, innahu huwa al-Ghafurur Rahim.